find the Cartesian form of the equation through the point A, minus 2, minus 1, 4, in the direction of 3, 1, 2. Now, before we can do this, we've first got to write the line in vector form. So let's just have a look. So we've got a point on the line, which is minus 2, minus 1, 4, and a directional vector of 3, 1, 2. So I'm going to look at it using this um, GeoGebra app, which is in the notes of the video. OK, so let's just... Uh, OK, so we're at uh, minus 2, minus 1, 4. Minus 2, minus 1, 4. And a directional vector of three one two so you can change these on the slider to get other lines if you want now the directional vector is just any vector in the space which has a components of three one and two so that that is that's the that vector represented from zero that's going to be d okay so the vector equation the line we need to go to a point and then some multiple of that vector so if we move the slider for lambda okay what we see is we get a set of points being mapped out here and we can see that the red vector depending on the size of lambda it's got off the scale here we can go make it go negative as well okay which makes a set of points okay so these general points on the line make a set of points and we can see that this vector here is parallel to this one here and in order to get to the general point okay so the general point is the vector r okay we need to go from o a plus a r okay but a r is some multiple of this directional vector here and the multiple we just call lambda okay so to get to r we go start here we go o a plus some number Sorry, it's just plus some numbers. So in this case, it's 1.4 times the vector d, which will take me to this general point here. And if I change lambda, it will take me to another point, and it will generate all the points on the, the, the line. OK. And then from that, we can deduce the equation of the line. So let's just put lambda back being 1 for the moment, OK? Again, you can look at this yourself using the GeoGebra app. Look. Okay, so we the equation vector equation line is made up of a known point, which in this case is a, plus some multiple of some directional vector, which we've given in the question. Okay, so r is equal to the point plus lambda times d. The position. This is the position vector. Of a point on the line and this is a directional vector you just the directional vector only needs to be parallel to the line it doesn't actually have to be on the line okay so r in this case will be minus two minus one four plus lambda three one two so that's fairly quite straightforward so how do we now find the cartesian equation well r This R here, this means the general point on the line. So R just stands for X, Y, and Z. So what we've got is X, Y, and Z is equal to minus 2, minus 1, 4, plus lambda times 3, 1, 2. So for the X component, X will be equal to minus 2 plus 3 lambda. We can make lambda the subject by doing X plus 2 over 3. Again, take the y component, so y will be equal to minus 1 plus lambda, and therefore lambda will be equal to y plus 1. I'm just going to put the 1 underneath, it's not necessary, but we'll put it in for the moment. And that the z will be 4 plus 2 lambda, which is equal lambda to z minus 4 over 2. So, as lambda is the same value in all three cases, we can now say that x plus 1 over 3 is equal to y plus 1 over 1 
is equal to z minus 4 over 2. And that is the, called the Cartesian equation, Cartesian form. We'll have a look at some other types in a minute. Note, this could have been written as x plus 2 over 3, y plus 1 with nothing underneath it, so we'd assume it's 1, z minus 4 over 2. But if you do write it like this, the directional vector is 3, 1, 2, and the uh, point the, the point that the line goes through is minus 2, minus 1, 4, which you get from here, you see. Okay, so it is, it is quite useful. Um, so... In general, the vector equation of the line is this, and then the Cartesian equation will be x minus a1 over d1, y minus a2 over d2, z minus a3 over d3. They're all equal to lambda, but we don't normally write that bit in. Okay, and what you've got to be able to do, given that form, can you go to that form, and given that form, can you go back to that form? However, just a little uh, word of uh, warning. Okay, what happens if, let's say, that one, sorry, let's just, sorry, let's just do the, um, there's the one that we just did, but what just happens if, say, d is equal to zero? Okay, it could, because that will become uh, y plus one is over zero, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so the line, the Cartesian form, because y is equal to 1, x plus 2 over 3, y z minus 4 over 2. Okay, so you need to look out, be careful in that case, if something in the directional vector is equal to 0. Let's change d to being back to something 1, and then make this one 0. Now, now we can see, because it was z minus 4... Oh, there was some one. Sorry, I want to keep the zero. I want to make it yeah because it was z minus four. Because z is now the line z is equal to four, but these these two are now equal to each other. So you just need to be wary of that. And again, you've got to be also a bit more careful. Very rarely happens if both of them are equal to zero, like y and z, the the directional vector component. Then y will be equal to minus one, and z will be equal to four okay and you can see that from the line here if we move the line round we can see that it seems to be parallel to y is one and z is four okay uh, the dotted one is just the original line that we that we drew okay so just be kept wary of that so this has been a video to talk about the vector equation of the line i hope you've understood and the geogebra app will be in the notes of the video thank you very much